So here the rabbit, this is a young rabbit, three, four months, the color of the skin, the fat, and that will be tender. So this is divided into different pieces. I open the belly, it already has been eviscerated, but only the man guts, not the other part here. And you have to be careful because you have the guts here, which are full of uh, gut and bile, so you have to remove that, that's next to the liver. Beautiful liver here. On this side, you can see the kidney are in there, in their envelope of fat. And farther inside here, you will have the lung, which again we use in the stew. See, the lung will have that color. What I like to do after that is to clean a little bit the inside. And then we divide the rabbit. The two back legs are going to be used together. Now what happened in those two back legs here, you have to cut between the two legs to crack the bone. Actually, it's easier from this side to crop that bone here and open it because very often at the end of it, there is still the end of the intestinal tract. I want to remove here. Okay. Now my leg is cut in two and usually four pieces. Two back leg. Now, the front leg are cut at the joint. You can see the joint of the clavicle here. If you follow the bone, this will be the front leg. This is one of my favorite pieces personally because it's very, very moist. There is more bone, but it is truly very moist. Okay, this is all of the rib cage. And we cut it to the beginning of the rib cage here. The rib cage is cut into usually three pieces. Okay. This is for stew, this is for stew, roast, and the saddle, what we call the saddle, the place where you sit down, we fold it underneath. This would be the loin in the beef, you know, strip loin. That we roast separate, although you can also cut it and put it in the stew. So we'll have the saddle, the two back leg, front leg, near the neck, finally the, the liver here and the lung. And that's how you divide the rabbit in my kitchen. <laughs>